The library has a variety of both general and subject-specific subscription databases. Some offer full-text newspaper, magazine, and journal articles. Others can be used for finding factual or background information, or even for generating ideas for research topics. In this module, you'll find a basic introduction to five databases. There is a link to the library on the De Anza College homepage. Select the Library Databases link to see a list of the library's subscription databases. Academic Search Premier is a general, multidisciplinary database. You may search any topic for magazine and journal articles. Scroll down to Individual Databases and select Academic Search Premier. If you are logging in from off-campus, you'll need to log in with your 8-digit campus-wide ID and My Portal password. You'll see the basic search screen. Notice that the full text limit is checked. You'll want to find full text or complete articles. Enter a search in the box. It's best to keep it to two or three keywords. You are finding articles with all the words you are entering in the title, abstract, or subject headings, so it's best to keep your search term simple. Just as an example, enter Twitter and political activism. Note suggested searches. You'll see an initial list of article records. Notice that the brief display shows the title of each article, the author or authors, source, a bit of the abstract of what the article is about, and the subject headings. If your instructor wants you to find a scholarly journal article, you may check the box for Scholarly Peer-Reviewed Journals on the left side of the page to display just the journal articles. You could also limit your display to journal articles by scrolling down to Source Types and selecting Academic Journals. You also have the choice to limit your display to just magazine articles. Magazine articles are often a good overview or introduction to a contemporary or controversial topic. Just above Source Types, you'll see a date bar. If your instructor wants you to find the most current articles, you could use the date bar to display results dating back to 2000 or perhaps just the last 5 to 10 years. Select an article and click on the title to see the record. Note the title of the article and the author or authors of the article. The source indicates the title of the periodical, date of the issue, volume and issue number, pages of the actual article, and the length of the article. You'll see subject terms or headings listed. These are the topics associated with the article that are assigned by the database provider. You can find other articles with similar topics by linking to one of the subject terms. It is one way to navigate the database to find articles with similar topics. Scroll down to see the abstract. Most records of articles will have an abstract which is the summary of what the article is about. Take a look at the abstract to determine whether you'd like to use it as a possible resource for your paper or presentation. You don't have to decide right away. Email the full text article to your email account by selecting the email button on the right. You can always delete an email message easily, but recreating a search is time consuming. You can also share information with classmates if you are doing a group project by emailing a full text article. When you email an article, you may also generate a citation in the style of your choice. Use the pull down menu to select a citation style before sending the email. Another handy feature for citing is the Cite Shortcut option at the right menu. By selecting Cite, you'll see a display of several styles for citing the article available through the database. Scroll through the options until you see the one for the style of your choice. Often this may be the APA or the MLA style. Check with your instructor. Cut and paste the citation into a Works Cited or Reference page. Double check the formatting details against a style manual. Purdue OWL's website is a good option. These shortcuts to citation examples may not be perfect, You'll need to check for accuracy and make some minor tweaks such as adding or deleting punctuation or changing fonts. You have the option to print whatever appears on the screen with the print button, but if the article's full text is available in PDF format, then open up the PDF first to print the complete article. Use the Result List button to return to the brief display screen. An alternative to scrolling and viewing the records of selected articles is to quickly scan article information using the magnifying glass at the brief records display. You'll see abstracts and the option to save records to a temporary folder. In Folder View, you may select a group of articles to email as a group while including citations in the style of your choice. ProQuest National Newspapers Corps has full-text articles from five of the most respected national newspapers published in the United States. These are the New York Times, Wall Street Journal and Wall Street Journal Online, Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, and the Christian Science Monitor. At the basic search screen, enter a search. For example, if you are researching the topic of racial profiling in California, you could enter 
Racial Profiling, and California. You'll retrieve a list of articles with their titles, source details, and partial abstracts displayed. You have the option of limiting your results to more recent articles by selecting a date range at the left side of the screen and then clicking on the Update button. For example, you may want to limit your results to display just articles from the last 5 or 10 years. This is a useful feature when your instructor wants you to find the most current articles. You may view an article by selecting either its title or the full text link. You may also just view the abstract by selecting the Abstract Details button. When you open the record for an article, you'll see buttons for functions such as emailing, printing, and citing. The Cite shortcut will have a pull-down menu that offers multiple citation styles such as APA or MLA for citing the article you are viewing. You also have the option of generating a citation in the style of your choice when either emailing or printing. Note the title of the article at the top, followed by the journalist's name, title of publication, place of publication, and publication date. There will be a brief abstract and the full text of the article will be displayed below. If you want to quickly scan article abstracts at the brief display screen, you have the option of using the preview buttons on the right side of the screen. If you are considering using an article, you may check the numbered box next to its title. After checking several boxes, you may email an entire group of articles with citations in the style of your choice. You may also generate a citation for every checked article by selecting the Cite option. Opposing Viewpoints and Context is a specialized resource that can help you pick a contemporary topic for your speech or research paper. It provides a variety of short opinion pieces that will let you see multiple sides of a controversial issue. Select Browse Issues from the black toolbar to see the list of available topics. Select a topic from the list. You can view the topic's overview at the top of the screen and continue to a fuller write-up by selecting View More. Just by reading the brief overview, you may find some helpful words and concepts to use for further research. Back at the topic's main page, you'll see a section titled Viewpoints. These viewpoint essays address narrower subtopics and provide differing perspectives. Use this resource to generate your own ideas for a speech or paper. You will still need to search article databases and other resources for books, articles, and other information to support your own point of view. LexisNexis Academic is a great resource for news, business, and current events. According to their tutorial video titled Introduction to LexisNexis Academic, it will give you access to over 15,000 sources. The front page of this database showcases the various ways in which you can use this resource. For a broad search covering newspapers, federal and state cases, company profiles, and law reviews, you can type a term like space exploration in the search box to see what the database has available on that topic. You will see over 900 results on that topic from newspapers and newswires to industry trade papers offering you a large variety of sources to choose from. Another feature of this database is the Bank of Hot Topics links. These links help you run one-click searches on current issues or access the front page news for that particular date. These update as news happens, making this a very current database to start your research. If you want a narrower search, you can click on any of these content-specific widgets at the bottom of the page. You can search for U.S. or world news by title, publication type, or even a specific publication like New York Times. You can look up federal or state legal cases by topic, citations, or parties involved, and get information on over 80 million companies by company name or ticker. For more information on the various ways you can use LexisNexis Academic, look under their Video Tutorials link on the site's main page. Films on Demand This database provides you with a digital collection of over 20,000 documentaries, educational films, independent films, and instructional videos for academic research. You can search by keyword in the search box or browse through their collection arranged by subject. So, you can scroll down the list and click on Technology and Society. You can then narrow the results by subject, format, type, featured producer, or even copyright date, or just start browsing the videos. For example, when you click on a video titled The Age of Hubble, you can see the video, get the specific transcript, scroll to specific segments, and even get the citation for the video in MLA, Chicago Manual of Style, or APA. For the more advanced researchers, you can even create a playlist of your video to share with others. This database is not only a great research tool for your papers and speeches, but also a fantastic presentation resource.